There are several principles that we've got. There are several principles that we've got to give our children, and I want uh, to express uh, them aloud for just one moment. Of the sound of your offense, hear this, the sound of your offense should be the same volume of your apology. <laughs> sound of your offense should be at the same volume of your apology. And so if you did something wrong out loud, then don't apologize to me with a whisper. I can't hear anybody in here. I'm gonna take just uh, one moment. I'm gonna take a moment. Uh, last week, uh, while we were in worship, I made a uh, reference uh, to now uh, deceased uh, public uh, critic and uh, public intellectual about relationships, Brother Samuels. Uh, as a consequence, later information uh, came forth that uh, what it is that I said was uh, incorrect. Uh, this place is a place of truth. Everything that I say from this place must be a place of truth as it represents the gospel of God. I don't care whether you are a pastor, a bishop, or a postman. When you are wrong, you have to own when you are wrong. Uh, and so not in a quiet place, but from the same pulpit in which I said it, I wanted to address it. Everybody wants to be an adult until it's time to apologize. I am a full grown adult and I take full accountability of everything that I say and everything that I do. So I wanted to take a moment and apologize to the Samuels family. I wanted to apologize to the larger community. I wanted to apologize to my noble brothers of Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Hear this, uh, because an apology is only messed up if you match it with an excuse. Apologies do not come with an excuse. An apology comes with ownership. And I want to make a very clear lesson and indication when people hold you accountable, that does not make them a hater. When people hold you accountable, that means they have expectation for what it is that you ought to be doing and how you ought to function and how you ought to flow. This week, I got a whole lot of people that want to help me be accountable. Uh, and I want to thank them for helping me to be a better person. I'm so thankful that God ain't finished with me yet. I, I don't do everything that I'm supposed to do, how I'm supposed to do it. Uh, but and a repentance means there is a change of behavior. So as a consequence, I want to say to you, watch me grow. Watch me do better and watch me represent the body of Christ at a much higher level than what I've done before. If I've let you down, it was never my intention. If I've dishonored you, never my intention. You felt disrespected, never my intention. My intention every time I stand is for God to be glorified and for the people to be equipped. Now, let's go do the work of Jesus Christ and do what it is that God has called us to do. Very interesting change of heart by the Reverend Dr. Bishop, Pastor, Overseer, Jamal Bryant. Wonder what led to that apology? Was it his own members? Was it the YouTube videos he saw being done on him by the dozens? Or was it fraternal? Was it through fraternal links? Brothers in the order told him that his public ridicule of another brother was unacceptable. I'm willing to go with the latter. Let the man rest in peace. So Kevin was out here renting rooms. I've done nothing. Can I speak, please? When the power bill spiked, you sent me communication after communication after communication. 
trying to make me responsible for it. Not you responsible, the whole entire house responsible, Kevin. But Since the stay-at-home notification not of COVID, everyone's working from home. The power, not, the water, not, the gas is, is exponentially. No, it's, it's not harassment. harassment. You know what, Kevin? Just recording Kevin Samuels moving the cardboard again from out from under his car. This video will be submitted to the HOA for repercussions of the removal of his automobile from the premises. I got all the spots with all the oil all over them, bud. I don't care. I don't care. The oil is right all over the place. Shout out to the CIA. One love to the FBI. Come on in. Old school. We haven't done one of these in a minute. We haven't done one of these in a minute for good reason. Why? The shows are Monday. The shows are Monday through Friday, Tuesday and Thursday on the ground. But today has been a day that I think I just need. We just need to talk. We need to talk. Um, you guys see the title of this this little impromptu, and it's called "Give Me a Break." Give me a break. Um, and before I want to get into this, um, here in Atlanta, it's a little overcast today. Uh, I spent today. Yeah, I still got the BMW. Glad you mentioned that. Uh, actually went out test driving. I'm looking at a new car. CIA, CIA, confident, intelligent, and assertive. Three things that men need to be to become the better version of themselves. FBI, feminine, beautiful, inspirational. Things that three things that women need to become to become the better version of themselves. But today I did go out and uh, I'm starting the process. Of looking at new, at looking new uh, vehicles. So uh, when I decide on what I'm going to do, if I'm going to do something, stay tuned. But anyway, give me a break. Look, man, give me a break. I was born with a father who was out doing what he was doing. Pop was a Rolling Stone, you know. God bless his soul. You know, my mother did the best she could with what we had. You know, my story is like anybody else's story. Um. Functions of poverty, you know, issues from childhood. I'm not any. I'm not special. I'm not special or any more special than anybody else. The difference is, you got to give yourself a break, man. Give yourself a break. Give me a break, and you got to break these cycles. So many of us did not get what we needed in childhood. Did not get what we needed in our uh, our formative years. Uh, did not get what we needed when we decided to go to college and relationships and this and that and the bottom line is this You're not following my content because you don't want something and the thing you want is likely uh, the, Being the better version of yourself You know, that's when I tell people you attract what you are And you hate the, and you hate the things you are It's because I've sat there and have had to do that that work that intensive work that uncomfortable work the work that comes along with having to be vulnerable in front of a therapist, in front of a counselor, to sit there and talk it out, to understand that you bring you to every situation that you're in, and if you don't do the work, I could drop you in the middle of the situation you say you want. I could drop a woman in a room with a hundred high value men wanting to get married in under a year, and they'll blow it. Conversely, I could drop a hundred men in a room full of feminine, beautiful, inspirational women wanting to be cooperative and submissive to a man and you'd blow it because you haven't given it yet because you can't give yourself a break. How many of you guys have really decided to do the work to break these cycles? Meaning tonight, Saturday night, how many of you going to do the same shit you've been doing all the time? You're going to go out with your girlfriends and, and, and go to the same spot, same club, same thing, gonna have the same outcomes. You're gonna go out with your homeboys, do the same thing. Or you're gonna sit at home and do nothing. Why don't you give yourself a break? Why don't you do something different? Why don't you go ahead and break the cycle and become the man you wanna be? Become the woman you wanna be. Go by yourself. Remember when I said you're gonna have to do it scared, or do it afraid, do it alone, do it unsure, without a guarantee. The only thing you can guarantee is your effort. That's why I say that real high value men and women appreciate one thing about people more than anything else they try 
they try, they try. They don't make excuses. They don't make excuses. They don't make, they don't accept the problems. My mama didn't do this. My last relationship didn't do that. This didn't, and that didn't happen. All that shit's over. Today, today is all you have anything to do with and what are you doing with it? And so many of us got our head down in the sand, stuck thinking about the future or the past, not in the present. Give yourself a break. Give yourself a break today and say, I'm going to be present. I'm going to get out of my house today and I'm going to go sit somewhere around human beings and be present in the moment. Talking about stuff that's in the moment, not worrying about the future, not worrying about the past, not worrying about a bill, not worrying about this. Be present. And you'd be amazed at what you could get out of relationships, out of people in the world because with all this communication potential we have, we got we are the most communicated, non-communicative people we ever had. We got more ways to communicate and people still can't communicate because you're not present. Then you run up on somebody who is present in the moment and it scares you. You're like, oh shit, this is new. What, they made eye contact? They smiled? They shook my hand? Come on, man. Give yourself a break. Gentlemen, break the cycle. Do something you never thought you'd do. Step to that woman who you find attractive. Forget all the red pill, this pill, that pill, showing interest, high value, this. Carry your ass over there and start a conversation. She's human. Her shit stick just like yours. Ladies, when a man walks over to you, stop acting like your ass is up on your shoulders. You know he stepped to you because he's attracted to you. And he wants to see if he can raise your interest enough to have a relationship possibly sex. Why don't we act like we know what's going on? Because we haven't given ourselves a break. We're still playing these roles, playing these games, and like a bunch of fucking robots on autopilot for self-destruct. And then you look around at people who seem to be having a higher quality of life, better outcome because they're deciding to break it up. Break it up. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to try. You don't have to get it right. You just gotta try. And I will tell you this, if you decide to give yourself a break, if you decide to try what scares you, if you decide to try what you fear, what you failed at, you will sleep the sleep of the just tonight because at least you will say, I tried. I didn't win, I tried. Versus living a life of regret. That is the one thing I refuse to do in my life. I will fail. 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 But I will not regret. I will risk. I will fail. I will risk. I will try. But I will not regret. Because when you are taking your final breaths, you're not worried about anything other than, did I make the most out of this life? Or do I have a life full of regrets and fears and things I didn't try? Fuck that. No regrets, no fear. Ladies, stop living life on fear mode. Make yourself a vulnerable, make yourself vulnerable to the kind of men you say you want. Gentlemen, stop living life on fear mode. Make yourself available to the kind of outcomes you want. Give me a break. Give yourself a break today. Peace out. fair use and i hope that the estate of kevin samuels does not mind me playing that particular clip now i played that for one reason and one reason only i want you guys to understand that regardless of what everybody's saying about kevin he's broke he was renting a room he ain't have no money first of all let's all agree that kevin samuels was married twice so there was a time when Kevin was not living in a room. No one knows if this was directly after one of these divorces. Sometimes men have to downsize when they're moving from being in a home and married or sharing an apartment with a woman and a family. Sometimes men have to downsize, you know, but you can rent rooms in condominiums. You can rent rooms in nice houses. Renting rooms aren't all just some hole-in-the-wall bullshit. But you see, Kevin, he decided not to sit around at 45 years old and say, what was me? He decided not to sit around at 50 years old and say, well, you know, I ain't got it, so I might as well give up because I ain't never going to get it. He decided to give himself a break. 
And a lot of us got to give ourselves breaks too, man. All right, bunker, I'm out.